Jessica doing things differently and today we have a five below haul. Yes, ah, I am so excited about this haul. Um, I've been waiting a little while to do it because I was trying to wait on, on my um, TikTok made me buy it haul but the things are just taking a really long time to get here so let's just do the five below one because everything is here. I want to welcome all my new subscribers and thank you so much for for being here. Thank you so much for, you know, taking that time to hit that subscribe button, taking that time to watch the videos, taking the time to like the video and comment and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, because that really means the world to me. It also helps my video escalate around YouTube so that other people can see it and watch it. So a big, big thank you to all of my new subscribers. If you're here and you're watching this for the first time, again, my name is Jessica. I do mostly reviews on my channel, but sometimes I do some other things like vlogging and um, DIYs and stuff like that. Now that the holidays are coming, I probably will be doing a few DIYs um, coming up here soon. So just a little heads up on that. Um, I'm going to try to do like little short ones, little brief ones, nothing too crazy. Um, that way I can try to get out more videos because I know that one video a week just, you know, we want to see more, right? We want to see more. The people have spoken. Okay. And I'm listening. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and do the shout out of the week. And today's shout out goes to Heather Price. I appreciate this comment more than I think she probably even knows. If you have never experienced the spongy hoodies, sweatshirts from Wish, what are you doing? <laughs> you haven't been on Wish very long because they're, they're, they're a thing. I promise. It's a thing. It's something you don't know unless you felt it. And I'm just so happy that she um, she, she knows that feeling. I'm so happy that somebody understood what I was trying to explain because it's not always easy when you're trying to explain the feeling of a fabric or the look of a fabric or how it feels on your body. It, it's hard, you know, especially when that person who you're trying to explain it to can't feel it, can't see it, can't touch it. You know, it, it it's difficult. So thank you so much for letting me know. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, you guys. So make sure that you go ahead and like this video. Comment down below for a chance for me to shout you out in one of my upcoming videos. And share the video. Share it with a friend, cousins, brothers, sisters, friends, neighbors, cousins, nieces, nephews, whatever. Teachers, family, doesn't matter. Share it. You know? All right. All right, you guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this haul. Shall we? Let's go. All right, so I went ahead and made a list here. Um, I got 12 things, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 items. It was $67.30, $7.95 for shipping and handling, and that equaled out to be $80.14. So we spent a little bit of money on this one, and I really hope, I really hope, this is going to be everything I want it to be. Anna, got a big old box. Let's get her cut open. So we got a lot of stuffing in here, all of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way so that he doesn't hurt himself, and I'll be right back. Now that that's taken care of, let's go ahead and get one right in here. First, I'm gonna pull right off the top, and it's already broken. That sucks, I guess I could just push it back in, but. All right, so it is just a faux house plant, and it's just stuck into some styrofoam with some fake looking mossy grass type on it. I did not know that it came inside a planter, so I'm very happy about that because I didn't know. I thought it was just the plant itself and then I would have to find a planter to go in here. So one thing I can do with this because if you guys can see, the inside of it's kind of jacked up. You see how you can see the white and it looks styrofoamy. And listen, if this were like right here, you can't really see it from a distance. However, if somebody, if it's at eye level and I can look down on the plant, it looks trashy. I'm not even going to lie. But... But I can always go buy some little rocks from the Dollar Tree and I can throw them in the bottom of this. That'll also kind of give the leaves a little bit more support and it'll make it look a lot better. So the tag on here says it was $5, but on my little list here, I have $5.55. So <laughs> that cat, I swear to God, I turned this camera on. Poo, shoo, foo, foo. On and going, on and running. All right. 
So it's not too bad. The leaves are bendable, so you can bend them to kind of be, you know, in whatever direction you want them to be. There's only a little four little stick sticks of leaves. It's very sparse. Um, I hope that I can get this to look right and be put together a little bit better because as it stands, even though it comes with this pot, this part up here, we're not looking too great. This one, what's going on with this one? I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I can hot glue them in here and put some rocks in here and kind of fix it up. I will go ahead and put that on my TikTok. I'll also put it on Facebook and Instagram. So I'll just kind of put it all over. I think once I fix it up, it'll be fine. But like even so, it's all wobbly. If the cat messes with this, it's done for. So we gotta fix her up. All right, next we have this lavender, this faux lavender plant. Again, it says $3, but it, oh, it was $3. <laughs> all right, so this is more like it. This is a little bit, bigger actually than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna be like one of those Dollar Tree little succulent plants with the little, little plastic pot and I thought it was just gonna be a lot different. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this. Um, definitely worth $3. The lavender actually looks somewhat real. Um, I know that a small lavender plant like this wouldn't have this many lavender buds, but nonetheless, they're still bendable. You can kind of move these around. Um, they look like fuzzy like a lavender plant does along with the leaves even look fuzzy like they do in real life. So I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with this. And then even in the bottom of this, I don't, you probably can't see it very well, but in the bottom of this, you can actually see the dirt down here. So that's a nice little added touch because it's actually full enough to where it hides it, but it's dark to where it looks like actual dirt. So very pleased with that one to say the least. All right. Moving on, we have this Scrabble board, and this one was $5.55, and it's called a Scrabble Tile Letter Board. Now, I got this for a couple reasons. One, because my son is in third grade now. He's spelling. He's doing a lot better with spelling. And now that he's learning it more, he doesn't enjoy doing it as much. So before, when he wasn't really learning it, and I would praise him about how good he was doing, and oh my gosh, I can't believe how well you're doing, and look, oh, you're so smart, da da, -da. he like craved that he 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 wanted that so bad but now that he's learning it it's almost like he goes to school all day he learns then he comes home and then i you have me going oh let's read a book for nighttime and he's like no i don't want to and he doesn't want to because he just spent eight hours of his day doing that so i got this in hopes that we could practice some spelling we could you know and it, and it would be a game and more like fun opposed to learning you know I don't know, I saw somebody else review it and it was their idea, so I can't take credit for it. I will pop up her name right here. So thank you for that. Um, but yeah, I think this is very nice. I will go ahead and show you guys a little clip of me playing with this. All right, so here's what the board looks like. It comes with the full alphabet here. It comes with three bags of uh, more letters. Each bag contains another set of alphabets. So there's three sets plus the one that's on the board already. So it gives you plenty of letters to work with. The letters kind of go underneath. So there's like a little lip right here and a little lip right here and they just kind of go right in like that. All right, and this is what it looks like standing up. It has a little kickstand right here. The letters are super thin. So they're not like real Scrabble pieces. This is completely made out of wood. It's a nice set. I do really like it. I'm happy with it. There's also a little hanger piece right here where you can hang it up on the wall. Or if you don't want to do that, there's a piece right here where you can kind of set it um, almost like it's being shown here on a tabletop or something like a picture frame would set. Um, and I think that's very nice. If that actually does help my son and he enjoys doing it, it's well worth it. All right, let's see what we have next. Next we have this guy here, and this is an under shelf storage basket. Add extra storage space instantly. And then what you can do is you can buy more of these and then kind of clip them on because it has a clip right here. You clip them on and you can do more underneath each other. So let me go ahead and see if this fits underneath my counter and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is the little drawer right here. Um, as you can see, it, it does not get in the way from anything up here. So you just kind of slide it in there and it adds an extra level right here. And you can still have room to put stuff underneath. Um, I actually still have quite a bit of room. All this is still left and I have plenty of stuff around it on the sides. Another thing that I like is the fact that um, you can kind of pull it out and grab what you need and then push it back in again not disrupting anything now 
I did want this for in my kitchen to put underneath so that I could put my vegetables in, uh, my fruits and vegetables in that I don't put in the refrigerator, um, like potatoes, bananas, um, apples, you know, that sort of thing. However, unfortunately, my cupboards are too thick, like they're, they're way too thick for this right here. So you do need to be cautious of that. Um, but otherwise, I think this is absolutely awesome. I, I absolutely 110% recommend this. That's really cool. Like, I can't even wrap my mind around it because I can also put it, like, where my kitchen table is, there's, it's about that thick and it would fit that. So I can put that right underneath there. And when I'm standing, working, or doing something like that, I can put my stuff underneath there. Just get things out of the way and, and kind of, like, underneath that I'm not using over and over. I'll go ahead and show you guys a picture of more places where this could be. Um, and I'm just blown away at how how great that is. All right, let's go ahead and move on. All right, next we have this guy. This is a hanging closet organizer. Three shelves, six divided shelves. So all together, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Technically, there's six, but there's three. I'll just show you. <laughs> no, I'm trying to explain it when I can just show you. So there's three main shelves, this one, this one, and this one. And then these three down here are divided for shoes or whatever, smaller objects, whatever you want it to be. Um, <clears throat> but here it shows shoes. Okay, my so I already have one of these in my closet and it's something very similar to this. And I have my little purses stored in there and I have my fanny packs, belts, and I think that that's it. Maybe like some small duffel bags that I can like roll up and put in there. So it's definitely, it saves a lot of space for me to be able to do that instead of trying to hang up all my purses and then having to take each one down to get to that back one that I actually want. It makes it so that I can see them all. So I really do love these. I think these are very good, but I'm also going to be using these for my crafting stuff because all my crafting stuff is everywhere and it is so unorganized, I just have to get it together. So I thought that this might help. Um, and this one was, I think, yeah, this one was $5.55 as well. So it's gonna be very helpful. All right, and here is this one. Don't judge my messy closet. Um, so this one you have to hang around the um, pole for it to work. But as you see right here, we have like little cubbies where you can put shoes at. And then we have the bigger cubbies for clothes or baskets or something like that if you just want to put the baskets inside there to make it look a little bit more neat. But I really like this. I think it's going to be work good. I think it's going to work fine. Um, the only thing I don't love is the fact that it does take up quite a bit of room um, as far as you know, being in a closet and taking up that much room. However, it's not the end of the world. And I think by putting stuff in it, ultimately you're saving more room with this kind of stuff uh, being able to be put in here. So yeah, I I think I, uh, I think I'm okay with it. So thumbs up. All right, moving on. We have two more organizers. We'll just get those out of the way. So this one was Five fifty five is well. I think that they were all five fifty five. This is a hanging organizer. Includes two metal hanging hooks, perfect for closets, bath, and bedroom accessories. So this one, I thought that I could either hang on the back of my bathroom door, or I could hang this on the back of my actual bedroom door. This is a little bit different as well. Um, it looks like you can hold stuff like lotions and you know shampoos. So anything extra where I don't necessarily have any room in my bathroom. I could maybe fill this up on the back of my door. We'll see how sturdy this is because I don't want this to like keep on banging the door every time somebody goes to go to the restroom because that's annoying. All right, so for this one, I put heavier items in here to kind of show you how it does lean forward when there's heavier, bigger items in here. I did put some towels down here to show you. This is a medium-sized towel, and this is like a dry hand towel. So I don't know if this would be really practical to put big towels in because you're only going to fit one big towel. But if you had some of these and you wanted to put them, you know, going like this, stacking them that way, that might be helpful because it leans forward. I don't really know if this is something that I'm going to be using for bathroom products. Um, I'm going to be 100% honest with you on this one. When it comes to things like this, that's this is going to be a no-go for me. I don't like it. I don't like the way that it looks. I don't like the way that it's like bulging out. It, to me, makes it look a little bit more messy, not so much put together. So for this one, I'm going to say they're, they're probably going to have to be used for smaller products. 
um, less heavy things. This is definitely going to probably be for something that I use for crafting, my craft stuff to go into, and I can put in my closet to where I don't really care what it looks like, but it does serve a purpose. All right, next we have this one. This one is four pocket over the door organizer, but this one, again, a little bit different than those two, but still the same concept. It's almost like accordion kind of style. Um, they're definitely looking like smaller pockets. And I thought that this could be for when I put my summer clothes away. I could maybe put all my tank tops in here because I still wear my tank tops in the wintertime. I just end up wearing them like under sweatshirts and under flannels and stuff like that. So every time, and it never fails, I swear it never fails. Every time I go to put my summer stuff away, I put my tank tops away. And then when I need one, I end up having to like run to Walmart because I don't want to like undo all everything I just did when I put it all the way. And I end up buying more and I don't need to because I already have it. So I thought that this might come in handy in that way. Um, even one of the other ones, it doesn't really matter which one it does what, what but uh, tank tops are pretty small. You can kind of roll them down. And because I wear them like to sleep in, I wear them under sweatshirts, I wear them under flannels, I wear them under t-shirts if it's just really cold and I want to double layer. Um, I don't really want to put them away for the, the winter, but I don't want them to be mixed in with my actual clothes either because I don't wear them enough, you know? So, I don't know. Just a thought. All right, so here is what this looks like. So, the pockets are decently big. Um, it is a tiny bit, you know, I'm sure that once you get stuff in it, it won't be like this, but it's a kind of a little bit flimsy. Um, it just goes around the top of the door like that. And you can also get little sticky tabs, put them behind here and stick it to the door. That way it's not flopping around. But I absolutely love this. The color is not like a gaudy, ugly pink. Um, and yeah, I have no complaints. Very nice. This stuff is very dusty and it's making my eyes itch so bad. All right. Next we have this. This is a beam light bar. This one was $5.25. And it's four colors, as you can see. So it almost looks like maybe like a rainbow or some something like that. So this is going to be something I'm going to try to put in my son's room or even in the bathroom. I haven't decided. I wanted to get his room together. And if I do, this is definitely going to be a Christmas present. I haven't decided yet, but I will show you guys what this looks like. And if it goes in the bathroom, I have something else for the bathroom. And I'm thinking that our bathroom is going to look really, really cool. And I'm so excited. Ah! All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and show you guys a clip of that now. So here is the beam light and here are the little holes that you can hang it up and then here's where the batteries go. And then it has an on off switch here. So let's go ahead and put it up against the wall. Turn off the light and there you go. This is how it looks up against the wall. Um, I'll go ahead and give you guys like a better look, um, put it somewhere where it you know looks better and you know has a better appearance. Let's go ahead and take it into the dark room and see what it looks like. All right, and there we go. That actually looks pretty nice. It goes all the way up to the ceiling. I think this definitely should be a Christmas present for my son. All right, moving on, seeing with the lights. We have this, it is a multi, uh, multi-color LED light bar with removable suction holders, color changing 12 inches. It requires three AAA batteries. Oh, hopefully I have them. Um, it has a remote control, 16 colors, and four modes. So this is kind of cool. I don't know where I'm going to put this at. Maybe behind the TV, maybe underneath this to kind of give it a little light. Um, I do want to put some more lights in my living room because when I'm sitting here by myself, just trying to do some self-care, self-love, um, self-guided you know, me guided meditation and stuff like that, I like for the ambiance to be nice, you know, and this will help. I have my, my color changing light bulb in there. I have some, some twinkle lights around here. You know, we just want the mood, you know, because sometimes it's good for the soul. <laughs> All right, so this one was $5.25. And let's just go ahead and take a look at what this looks like now. All right, and here is how the LED light bar comes. So we have the two suction cups, the remote control, and then the bar itself. So here is the bar. That's where the little suction cups are going to go into. Let me get this open, situated, and we'll go ahead and put it somewhere and see what it looks like. All right, so unfortunately it wouldn't stay where I wanted it to stay. So we'll just go ahead and show you back here. That's flashing, and then you can just go through all the colors and change it to whatever color you want it to be. You turn the light off, and there you go. I 
I mean, this is okay, but every place I tried to stick it to, it wouldn't stick. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, I don't really like it here. So I'm definitely going to have to find somewhere for it to go. You can definitely hang it because it has the little hangers in the back. Instead of putting the suction cups on there, you can hang it. And the suction cups also move. Let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, turn you off. Okay, so here are where the suction cups go. You can go ahead and move them and make them shorter or longer. So that is one good feature that it has. But um, I'm actually very disappointed that they don't stick every place I was trying to put it. Nonetheless, this is a pretty decent gadget. Um, if I can get it to be where I want it to be and have it stay there, this is going to be perfect. We have this guy, which is another lighted thing. So this was $5.25. Now, what this is supposed to do is supposed to be an LED soap dispenser light, but motion detected. So either every time I walk into the bathroom and pass the soap dispenser, it's gonna turn on, or every time I touch it and go to use it, it's gonna turn on. I don't know which one's gonna happen. So I'm assuming these are gonna take some batteries. I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some batteries. So uh, motion activated lights will illuminate in dark rooms only. Okay, so here's what it looks like. So it says seven colors. 10 feet motion sensor, 30 second auto shut off. I'm really excited about this. I don't know if it's just gonna like continuously change colors or if I can set it to do one color. Um, we're gonna have to fiddle with this, but this one I'm excited about because my bathroom is about to be beau Also, I'm changing my bathroom right now, it's cherries. I'm redoing the whole thing. It needs to be not so gaudy. It needs to be a little bit more subtle, you know? That might be a Dollar Tree haul that I do because I noticed Dollar Tree has a lot of nice stuff. Okay, so this is the bottom piece. It connects on to here. This just goes on here. It twists on. Then this is the bottom piece. You set it like this, and then that twists on it. One, two, three. ba -doo! Yes, and I think you push this button. Changes colors. So let's watch and see how long this stays on for. I want to say it was like a 30 second delay. Or so. I'm actually pretty excited about this. All right. And we turned off. This is very awesome. Love it. Next, we have this guy. And this one is another LED light bar. Dang, I couldn't, I, maybe I couldn't decide. Maybe I was like, which one do I want? I'll just get all of them. This one, <laughs> this one was uh, 525 as well. This is a multicolor LED light bar with remote control. Requires one 3B CRs. Oh no, that's like a watch battery that nobody can ever find. This is what it looks like. It's just a little stand light bar. So if it's this bright, we're not using it as like a night light. That's for darn sure. But I'm actually pretty excited about this one as well because you can kind of like move it around. You can put it wherever you want. If you're undecided on the placement, put it wherever you want. You know, I, like I said, I like the ambiance of the way lights look when I'm sitting by myself in the dark doing self-care and there's nothing wrong with that. I like for it to look good and all these lights, maybe it's a bit much, but I have more than one bedroom and some of them could go in the bathroom. Some of them can go in the kitchen. Some of them can go in his room. Some of them can go in my room. Some of them can go in the living room. You know what I mean? Like I have, the sky's the limit. <laughs> you know? You know? Okay. Um, I'm very excited about all of those though. If freaking lights bring me joy. Freaking lights bring me joy. You know? All right, and here is the bar. So this one actually does plug in. This is pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. So let's go ahead and change the modes. You can change the colors to whatever color you like. Again, coming across camera, it's not really showing the colors that it actually looks like, but in person, the colors are all very, uh, very much so like what they show here. All right, last and final item which is going to be difficult for me to show you. So I am going to try to find somebody who already reviewed this online and put a clip in um, to show you how it looks. All right, and here is the phone uh, motion detector that kind of goes with you as you walk around. It kind of goes like this. When you move, it moves. 
um, and there is the power button there. Um, you can turn and spin around to sit like this if that's how you want your phone to be or you can make it like this nothing too crazy I think this is gonna work pretty good if the reviews from other people are correct then this is definitely a win here it is. It is a 360 motion for your phone. So you put your phone on here and then you walk and the phone follows you wherever you go. Um, I do hope that it works. I will put a video obviously on TikTok showing how this works um, in the sense of as I'm recording, you'll kind of see it moving and you'll see it, how it works in that aspect. But anyways, I am very, very, very happy with this haul. Everything was so great. Um, some of it, you know, was it necessary? Probably not. But it all makes me very happy. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. All right, you guys. So if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications for every time I upload another video so you don't miss out because you don't want to miss out. Right? It is free to subscribe. It is free to share. It is free to like and it is free to comment. All of it doesn't cost you a penny. And it helps my channel out. All right, you guys, if you have any video ideas, please put them down below. Until next time, I'll see you later.